Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Motion Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. Um, I am slowly but surely catching up. I actually have a ton of plan with me's filmed already. It's just the editing part that really slows me down and the voiceover part. Um, but this is the week of um, New Year's. So it's actually the last week in my old Erin Condren. I do want to film it again in my new Erin Condren. Um, but yeah, I have, I don't know, a couple more Plan With Me's filmed um, so far, and I'm just trying to catch up, like, editing them and posting them and whatnot, so um, <laughs> sorry, we're still so behind. Oh, this also right there, I realized I was, like, looking back, because I've had a couple requests so far for um, from people to do, like, a flip-through plan uh, video, you know, where you, like, flip through your spreads from 2018 and your Erin Condren, so I was looking through to see how many weeks that I missed, um, and which it's too many to go back and like back plan all of them. I had a busy year. Um, but so anyway, so I was like looking at a week in September that I missed and I started planning this week in September instead of December. Anyways, um, that's what that was, but I moved it all off camera. So now it's the right week. Um, what was I saying? I think I was just apologizing for being like, oh, sorry that this is still like, we're still, you know, doing New Year spreads and we're almost in February, but that's okay. Well, <laughs> we're catching up slowly, but surely. Um, as for this spread in particular, it is um, from Paper Muse Crafts. It's a mini kit. I think it's called Mini Cheers. Um, I have been super into Paper Muse Crafts lately. She's one of my favorite um, shops right now for sure i wish i i haven't actually tried um her mini kits that come with that add-on sheet i know that she was doing a lot more mini kits instead of full-size kits which i really prefer her full-size kits although i can make do with her mini kits like it's fine i just have to pull a lot of stickers in from my collection which actually ends up being fine um but i think she put on an add-on sheet to her mini kits that has a lot of the kind of white space like small stickers that i like and by that i mean they're stickers that are like arrows and flags and stuff like that that i think look really good for white space planning where you're not trying to fill the entire width um of a column um so i really do want to try that but um, yeah, this kit is super pretty. Um, it is, oh, I also me messed up putting the full boxes down on this side of the page. I didn't put one in the middle row. The one on Sunday should have been in the middle row instead of the bottom. Um, anyways, um, I think I was saying, oh, the, I, one of the reasons I love our kits is because they're foiled. I love that. This one has light gold foil, which I love. Um, they also are a super nice premium matte paper. Um, the colors show up really well and, um, yeah, they're just like very, the paper's really buttery and smooth, print quality's great, and there's just a lot of stickers. Like I use pretty much everything, um, I use pretty much everything that she offers in her kits. Um, these bow headers, I think I actually pulled from another kit, something that d I do sometimes if I'm like, ah, oh, I get a little annoyed, is she'll have bow headers listed for all of her kits, and then, um, I've had it happen, I think it happened with this one, where they like sold out, um, before I could, like, before I bought the kit, so I couldn't get them. Um, her, her mini kits do come with, like, a full set of headers, I think, which, again, I'm like, why, why waste the space if you're gonna offer headers separately? Um, but that's just me complaining. No one really cares. <laughs> um, and then I also, so I put down the bow headers from another kit. Um, they matched really well, I think. Um, they're still Paper Muse Crafts, they're just from a different Paper Muse Crafts kit. And then the um, foiled headers are from Rose Colored Days, and the pattern headers are from the kit. Um, the flags I put in the upper left-hand corner are from Tasseled Planner, and then I also ended up using a lot of um, Simply... Well, I pulled a lot of Simply Gilded washi for this week. Um, I used some in the sidebar, both of the washies in the sidebar are Simply Gilded. Um, okay, and then that is on to the day-by-day. Day. Um also she didn't have date covers and I didn't end up putting any which is fine I, I haven't been minding that look lately the only thing I don't like is how much stuff is on January like New Year's Day Kwanzaa ends whatever all that stuff anyways okay New Year's um so uh New Year's my time card was due I took a flag from the kit and a um a dollar sign from rose color days um I actually went into work and I worked a half day that day I marked it with a quarter box and a 
a bow clip from my newest addiction and then I had to get Steven a present because we um, were celebrating our 12 year anniversary and we um he took me up to Napa it was a surprise well I knew he was taking me somewhere I didn't know where but he took me up to Napa um to celebrate and it was amazing he found the nicest like bed and breakfast um it's called the Millican Creek Inn if you're ever in Napa and looking for something it was so it, the room was just gorgeous we had he planned out all these wine tastings that we went and you know I love wine tasting <laughs> um oh I'm marking Napa for the day for our anniversary with a bow from um Nikki plus three um but yeah so then we went wine tasting um it was, oh, I also marked New Year's Eve with a flag, two fireworks from the kit, and then the New Year's Eve sticker is from Artbox Sticker, Artbox Studio, Artbox Stickers, I can never remember. But anyways, we went wine tasting, we went to three different places, we went to Cuvée San, which I'd never been to before, um, Peju and Mum Napa for champagne tasting, and then I didn't get a chance to mark it, but we also went out to dinner, and um, that was really nice. It was at a place, I can't remember the name of it, it's like a tapas, like Spanish style restaurant, in Napa, like downtown Napa, we have been there before and we love it. It's like very authentic, like tastes like we're in Barcelona all over again kind of food, which I love. Um, oh, and also I marked wine tasting. I think that is from Sadie Stickers, that foiled quarter box. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, but it was just a really fun, fun night. There was like, we also did like a port tasting at our um, bed and breakfast that evening it was just it was gorgeous and then um we woke up the next morning and they served us breakfast in bed which was amazing we got to pick out from a menu the night before and then they brought it to the room it was so nice the food was really good so I marked that with a coffee cup from Paper Muse Crafts and then Stephen also part of the gift he gave me like a credit for um a massage so they also came to the room <laughs> and they and I got a massage at 10 and I marked that with champagne glasses because they gave me champagne after the massage which I thought was funny because normally they give you water after a massage because it like dehydrates you or whatever I was like this this works too I'll take champagne um but that was really fun um and I really appreciated that and I also marked the day off with a piece of washi and then a script from Rose Color Days um and then after that we went on a hike um in Napa um just to kind of start the new year off right so I took some arrows one was from I think sticky sloth designs and then the other was from the kit or maybe magic prince i can't quite remember and i just kind of layered on those layered those together to mark like i don't know it kind of reminded me of like going you know like arrows i don't know anyways went on a hike um and then we drove home um and i we went to the grocery store and we meal prepped a bunch um so that was good. I marked that with a little um, KitchenAid mixer looking thing <laughs> from Paper Blush Bar. And then um, the rest of the day, I mean, it wasn't really lazy. We got back like in the early after, well, in the afternoon. So we did that and then we unpacked and that was kind of it for the, for the day. Um, and then again, those luggage um, layered over the luggage, layered over a quarter box from the kit. The luggage is from Paper Blush Bar. Um, so then Wednesday back to work after like at this point I had had so much time off and like worked from home so much um, from the week before being Christmas so Wednesday was like first day first day like back to work I was back in it so I took a work flag from paper blush bar and then a little bow um, from tasseled planner to mark um, a meeting that I had on Wednesday and then I'm marking painting my nails with my favorite um, nail polish from GP sticker studio um, and a heart from tasseled planner someone that just reminded me someone asked me in one of my last videos to um, put a I get a lot of questions about my nails. I guess probably because it's the only thing you see is my hands. Um, but someone asked me to put a a video like how I paint my nails, I think. Um, which I said I was going to find and put on my Instagram. Because I have done a video on my Instagram stories about how I get my nude nail polish to look good. Because that, I think, is more difficult than just painting your nails. But anyways. um, Okay, so then up there, I also wrote down Phil Clipper. And that was... Uh, the credit cards were from Paper Muse Crafts. Yeah. Um, I also filmed a video this day. The camera is from, um, the camera is from 
paper blush bar and the film script is from sticky sloth designs i do have a coupon code for her it's a really good one so go check my description for that if you're interested um it's the highest one i've seen for her and then um i went to the gym that night that bar that like dumbbell is from um my newest addiction and then the mail pickup i think that that was from crafts by towie um the envelope up there okay moving on to thursday um i went to starbucks on thursday morning i marked that with a, a coffee cup from simply watercolor co and then i painted my nails again um one thing about my nails is they i paint them so often because they peel off really fast i don't know what that's about um and then so that oh, did i say that that nail polish sticker was from fox and pip i'm not sure um after that i ended up marking that I had to go to CVS. I don't remember what for, but um, the bag is from White Deer Stationery. I love her icons. I think they're so pretty and dainty, and I love her color selection that she puts on each sheet. Um, I layered a bow from Tassel to Planner, and then for work, I liked the flag thing that I did on Wednesday, so I actually took one of her work headers from the kit, and I cut it down into a flag, and then again, I used um this ends up changing I didn't know what I was doing down here <laughs> um that that half box goes though um but I used the bows from tasseled planner um kind of as bullet points to mark out my individual meetings and then I'm just waiting right now to see how much I show you I know that like when I was editing this footage I tried a million different things <laughs> to see what I wanted um to put down here what I'm trying to mark is just my flywheel class I don't know why I you know honestly I don't know why I didn't why I pulled it up originally um I think looking at it now what I had originally looks better than what I have um probably I don't know I don't know why but the washi at the bottom is from simply gilded and then the bow is from white deer stationery um and again all just to mark my um my spin class um, Friday, I am marking that, um, I had, oh, well, actually, okay, I'm marking, sorry, I thought I was starting at the top, I'm not, I'm marking my payday, I took a flag from the kit, cut it down, like I always do, to make sure that there's more white space, so it doesn't span the full width of the column, and then the payday script is from Rose Color Days, um, and then I'm marking that I had two meetings on Friday, and instead of writing them out, I just took a flag from the kit, um, and am putting the, yeah, just writing that out there. And then I, I'm marking here that I had to cancel. Well, I didn't have to, I chose to cancel my flight. Um, that is a plane from, uh, a, what's the name of that shop? P Piper Paper Company sampler. Um, I was going to go to Las Vegas with some friends and some, you know, some of Steven's friends too. Steven and I were going to go, um, but it was really more Steven, like it was Steven's group of friends. And I was just dead. <laughs> like I had been, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times. I, I can't remember, but I was on like, a, I drank so much the past, like from Christmas through New Year's, just like so much wine tasting and champagne and everything. Um, oh, I'm marking lazy night with a uh, Bo from Nikki plus three and a girl from Fox and Pit. But anyways, I just had like, there was so much going on, um, from like kind of the week before, um, Christmas through Christmas into this week with like being in Napa for new year's and our anniversary and everything. I just needed a break. Honestly, I needed to like not be around people and not drink and not eat and not do all these things in excess anymore. So I ended up canceling my flight and Steven just went without me and I was like, have fun friend. Like you're all good, <laughs> but I, I wasn't about it. So, um, yeah, so I just ended up kind of staying home and just being lazy and just like taking some time for myself. So, um, I slept in on Saturday. That was really nice. I marked it with a sticky note from GP sticker studio. The eyelashes are from simply watercolor co the coffee cup is from GP sticker studio. The hearts are from, um, tasseled planner and the squiggle is from rose color days. Um, I, took up like the passport sticker that's from Piper Paper Company and I wrote passport just to remind myself um that I needed I didn't know where my passport was and I needed it so I um wanted to remind myself to look at my parents house that night because I went over 
um, to my parents' house for dinner that night. My cousin and one of his friends were visiting, so I, you know, hung out with them a little bit, um, and I marked that with a half box and um, a utensil set from Sticky Sloth Designs. And then um, Sunday, I went, I'm trying to remember the order of that I did all of this. I think I went grocery shopping. Um, must have done that kind of early in the morning. So um, I took a flag from um, the kit, which again, I do this all the time, and then marked um, groceries with that cart from a paper muse crafts sampler sheet. And then I picked Steven up from the airport in the morning. Um, did I? I think I wrote that down. I'm not sure if I actually did. I think he might have gotten home himself. <laughs> um, anyways. Okay. And then I, um, marked that with a suitcase from that same Piper Paper Company sheet that I think that airplane and the passport and the luggage, that's all from the same sheet. And then I'm layering some washi here just to take up some space. Um, I, that is my favorite washi. It's the confetti washi. It is the perfect color pink. Um, it's from Simply Gilded. And then I also, um, took a, some of the five millimeter washi and I cut it down into a flag shape. I don't end up using that one. That was too much. Um, and I layered it over that. And then, um, I know I'm not quite there yet, but, um, some, uh, one of my friends was in town, um, for, for, you know, the holidays and whatnot. So, um, we went out to brunch, um, in San Francisco. Um, we did kind of like a bottomless, a bottomless brunch, um, which was new to me because I mean, I'm no, I'm no stranger to bottomless mimosas, <laughs> but, um, the whole brunch was bottomless. So that was fun. So we did that. And then we ended up, um, going to a bar afterward. And then we were just like at the bar for hours and just kind of drinking and hanging out all day. So that was really fun. But like, there goes my like not drinking in excess and trying to chill, whatever, anyways. And then that beer mug is from Planning World. Um, I'm actually really excited to be a part of her PR team. I don't normally do the PR team thing. It's not really my style, um, only for shops that I super, super love and I'm really genuinely excited about. So uh, my code for her is Lauren15, um, if you're interested. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I love the spread. Thank you for letting me catch up. Uh, if you have any questions, you can find me on Instagram or leave me a comment. And that's all. Bye, guys.